What's up, YSN Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNlive.com. Penguin Coaches Corner, sponsored by, of course, Youngstown State University. Proud to be joined by, I love saying this, the new Director of Football Operations at Youngstown State University, Cole Peterson. Cole, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. We're going to talk a lot about a lot of things, Penguin fans. We'll get into some football. We'll get into the spring. We'll get into Missouri Valley. We'll get into Cole and his family. I, I know that's a great story. But, Cole, first question. When, when I say to you, Cole Peterson, Director of Football Operations at Youngstown State, mm -hmm. what does that mean to you? It means a lot. You know, and, uh, you know, I think a lot of people, you know, who maybe don't know me, it's a lot of, you know, I'm young, but it was a lot of years of hard work for me, you know, and, you know, worked my tail off to put myself in the position to be here today. And so it is, you know, when some, you know, when you do say something like that, it does hit home and, you know, it is, it's very special for me. It has to be special. We'll, we'll get into your family. We'll get into mom and dad. You, you graduate from Youngstown State. Uh, a few months ago. Take us through that process. Coach Phillips, uh, you worked with the fo football program. Mm -hmm. I love being a part of Youngstown State football, mm -hmm. uh, calling games with Bob, of course. Take us through that. You graduate. The last time I had talked to you, you were graduating. You weren't sure. You had some things going on. Take mm -hmm. us through how how YSU becomes the, this place for Cole Peterson to start his career. Yeah, you know, it was a wild, you know, it was uh... – was all over the place, you know, and was thankful to have people in my life like Coach Phillips and my father. And, uh, you know, I was all over the place. You know, they didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know what was going to happen. Um, and, you know, I was fortunate I graduated and, and had about, uh, you know, I had a handful of opportunities at other college uh, programs and, you know, I'd settled in on one. Um, it wasn't public, but I was heading, heading there and, uh, it was, you know, it was in the flow of that, getting all that stuff rolling. And there had been two uh, – we had two kind of staff turnovers here at YSU. Sure. And Coach Phillips called me and put a halt and said, hey, come sit down, I need you. You know, and it was one of those things, you know, someone when you're so close to someone uh, like Coach Phillips and, and he tells you he needs you and wants you to be here with him to keep building this thing. It, you know, I, I sat on it for a night. And I called my dad and I said, you know, this this is where I need to be right now. You know, I don't need to be chasing logos. I don't need to be going anywhere. I think I think, you know, I'm getting called to help right here. You know, and, and that's what kind of, you know, laid me and stayed me right here in Youngstown. Well, I, I know one thing. I, I'm glad and I'm awful proud of the track that you've made the Youngstown State. It's a job that's well deserved. I, I know you have done a, a great job in such a short period of time in Youngstown State has a great, great leader in directing the operations of Youngstown State football. We'll get into that, Penguin fans. YSU is a special place for you. Your dad is coach there. Uh, your relationships that, that you've built at Youngstown State, now you can say it's Cole's home. Not that it never was not home for you, but now you have an office. You have a place that you're proud of. I know what the Penguin football program means to you. How excited – Next question is mom and dad for you for this opportunity. They're fired up. You know, I think it was one of those things to say that their, you know, their son is is finally has a has a job, you know what I mean, and, and is and is good to go. And those things they're proud and, and you know they're happy for me. And you know, they'll be leaving, you know, starting of June one, you know, heading down to Cincinnati, uh, where my father took a job. My my mom will be heading that way as well. So um, you know, I'm fired up for them just as much as they're fired up for me. Yeah, no question. Congrats to your dad. Talk about that a little bit. Cincinnati, a great opportunity for your mm -hmm. dad. Talk about mom and dad. Uh, yeah. How important family is for you. It's interesting for me because I want to pick at you a little bit. You're a football family, have mm -hmm. been from the day you were born. Yeah. Talk about that as a youngster, being around football, being and your mom to, to be able to be a, a glue of a family from moving place to place. Mm -hmm. Talk about your upbringing and, and what football's done for the Peterson family. Yeah, football's, you know, I hate said it's done almost everything, but it's done almost everything, you know. And um, our mom, you know, it's my brother Austin, who's 26, who lives in Cleveland, works at Case Western, um, who's my best friend. You know, I mean, I couldn't I couldn't get through it without Austin. And then, 
you know, I have, we have our mother, Michelle, who's our rock. You know, she, I always say she's the head coach of the family. And then you got, then you got big John. That's our, you know, that's, that's the OG right there. That that's the coach. And, you know, he, he set the example for me, you know, growing up in so many different ways, not only on a football field, but so many things outside of a football field, you know, in life, whether that, you know, day-to-day things are in the classroom and those things. And, you know, my mom and dad have done an unbelievable job, you know, raising me in Austin to put us in these positions where we are today. And, you know, it didn't happen overnight. You know, it was a lot of moves, you know, moved 12 times, went to three high schools in four years, went to two middle schools, went to four elementary schools. You know what I mean? So we were moving around, moving around a lot. And I give my parents so much credit um, because – to be able to have two boys and, and and ride those roller coasters with us and, and keep us on the straight and narrow and see us both be college graduates and 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 have full time jobs now, uh, I can't thank them enough for putting us in this position. Well, I'm going to give a shout out to both of them. Two great people, and, and you're right. Uh, Mom is is the head coach, no question about it. She's she's laid a legacy at Youngstown when she was here, no doubt, and we wish her the best. How crazy is that? To, to do all the travel, to you and your brother, uh, support, obviously, mm-hmm. from your mom and dad. But you're talking about two young kids that every year you have to go meet new friends, new things, new area. Talk about that a little bit. Yeah, it's not easy. You know, I think it almost gets unseen in the college football world of everything else. You know, you forget that a lot of these coaches have full families, you know, and I think the best thing is was having Austin and having that sibling and we sure. were all kind of taking those punches together, you know, and one thing it's helped me in Austin is, you know, we've been able to adapt anywhere we've moved, sure. you know, making new friends and, you know, you got to be able to step outside your comfort zone. And, you know, I think so many people right now get so, you know, just locked in their bubble and it's, it's forced me to step outside of that bubble. You know, I dealt with, you know, high anxiety at a young age, sure. high anxiety. And, you know, it, it made me grow up real quick. Um, and so those moves, you know, they're never easy. No. They're never easy. But after about the third one, I said, well, you better start adapting. So, you know, I kind of took that took that initiative. And, and anywhere we went, you know, I kind of just locked in on me and locked in on my brother and just knew that we had to go make a new home. Well, that's awesome to hear you and your brother, Austin. Salute to you, both of you. We're going to get into a dad a little bit, but. You, you brought something up there that, that struck me. A bubble. You talk about that. People, today's world, the last two years has been crazy. I mean, mm-hmm. things and, and adjustments people have to make. And if you're not willing to step out of that bubble, there's a lot of struggle in the world that, that you can get caught up with, with anxiety and those types of things. You read yeah. about all the athletes, whether it be college, pro, high school, they go through daily things. Mm-hmm. I don't think people understand and I want to ask you this from a from a coaching standpoint, yeah. how hard college football coaching is. Number one, it's a full time commitment at, at universities that all love football, no doubt. But mm-hmm. what you said, family also has to be that main ingredient. And your dad's been fortunate to coach at a lot of different places where I know you and Austin and your family was a focal part of that. That has to help you want to do what you're doing at Youngstown State. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's huge. You know, I think family's everything. And, you know, when you have a head coach, whatever program you're in who preaches that makes the world of a difference, you know, and he, my dad, you know, thankfully he's been around some really good head coaches where family was first. And, you know, it starts with our president of our university when they were together at Ohio state and he allowed us to be around 24 seven, you know, and that, that, that's what makes, you know, that's what makes college football easier because it is so hard. And, you know, people really don't understand that. You know, it's when you're going out to dinner and you're sitting at the next table over and people are, you know, man, these coaches, and they should get fired. You know, they don't know your coach or they say something about a kid on your team. You know, he threw an interception. Well, you know, to you, guess what? Those, those kids are talking about, you know, those are, you'd look at those as your son. Sure. So you got to be able, you know, those are, those are real things that happen in the outside world that some people just don't understand. And, you know, you know, it's as a coach, you got to be able to, you know, flip that switch real quick and bring your, you know, temper down real quick. Cause you know, I know a lot of people get fired up, you know, when those things happen. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing I see in coaching, you know, 
especially when you're on different stages. You know, I remember my dad was coaching Ohio State. You know, that's the highest of the highs. You know, you're going to school on a Monday, and, you know, Ohio State, you don't lose a lot. No. You don't lose a lot, but when you do lose, you hear about it. Sure. I mean, and, you know, when your dad's a coach at, you know, Ohio State, and you guys lose, and you come back in on a Monday, and there's those 10 Michigan fans sitting in your school, they're going to let you hear about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And guess what? They didn't talk a lot. No, I was like, going to say. It wasn't a whole lot of talk there. That's you know, good. About 10 years, we, you know, the team up north didn't really mess with us. So, but no, it, it's, you know, it is hard. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. With Cole Peterson, director of football operations, uh, Youngstown State University, this, this coach's corner at YSN, we love doing these, sponsored by obviously YSU. Shout out to your dad again. Wish him nothing but the best. Coach Fickle is doing an outstanding job and, and gets, gets a great addition in your dad. So, Penguin Nation, keep an eye out like we always do on the Bearcats for sure. Next question. When I say Missouri Valley Football Conference, what does that mean to Cole Peterson? It's a real of the real. It's the real of the real. And, you know, I think you're seeing it. It's facts. You know, we just had nine guys drafted out of our conference. <laughs> Andrew over. Ogletree, right? Sixth yeah, round, Youngstown yeah. State. Fired up, big shout out to Andrew. Ogletree. Absolutely love it. I got, was able to. Wow. Obviously, I get a chance to be around all you guys. I love it. Remember yeah. doing a show with Bob on Monday night. One of my favorites. That, let's face it, has an opportunity to make himself a, a big time tight end in the next level. People don't understand. I want to ask you how good. And I talk to a lot of people. People don't realize how good the Missouri Valley Football Conference is. I've been fortunate to be a part of Youngstown football for years now. I was doing some stuff with officials, now on the radio with Bob. When you can go down on the field, Cole, and look at the guys that come out of locker rooms in the Missouri Valley Football Conference, that's why we had nine drafted, and and they can play with anybody in college football. There's no doubt. Yeah, it's real. You know, I mean, it's a real conference. And, you know, you know, you get questions, you know, and, I, and guess what? I'm 23, but I've been able to be in the Conference USA and – the Mac with my dad, you know, when he was coaching, I've seen those guys up in person. Let me tell you, there's not a difference. You know, you just look at stats this past year, look at stats this past year, you know, the Mac and Sunbelt, you know, in the conference USA all had six guys drafted. The Missouri Valley had nine. So, you know, to, to go and say those conferences are better, guess what? The Missouri Valley could go play in the FBS conferences tomorrow no and, question. Not, and not miss a step and not miss a step. And, you know, I don't, and you ain't going to change my mind. You're not going to change my mind because that's a fact right there. It's really, yep. really, really, really good football. Really, yeah, it's, good. A, it's a good football conference for sure. I, I'm proud to be a part of it on on a week to week basis. All right, let's get into Penguin football. Mm -hmm. We play two seasons in a row without a break, basically. Yeah. Um, liked a lot of things I saw. I've known Coach Phillips a long time. Love what you guys do. Love what I saw traveling with the team. How important, and I've heard you guys talk about this a lot, has it been to have been able to go out and recruit, number one, um, end a, a regular season this fall with a great win to end the year against a good football team, Southern Illinois, who we kind of pounded for sure. How important is it then now to take that next step and actually be able to get kids into a day-to-day -day routine of being in a weight room and getting after it to get better for this coming fall? It's a program changer. You know, it is. And, and what I mean by that, to end the season the way we did, beating a ranked team on the road at Southern Illinois um, is a credit to our staff, credit to our team um, for putting everything together. And those guys to trust the process, trust what we're doing, you know, and have have that faith in the staff that we're going to, you know, just trust us. We're going to get it done. And the kids were able to see that, you know, leading off into the off season. And then, you know, we had some transition. You know, we had some transition. We hired a new strength coach. And, uh, man, uh, shout out Jimmy Rodenberg, man, because he's a, he's a game changer for our program. And you'll see it in the fall. You will. You know, our kids are unbelievable right now. And, and you know what? We didn't have an off season these past two years because of COVID and those things. And we weren't able to recruit, like you said. And guess what? We went out and we signed a class of 36. It's the number one class in Youngstown State football history. And, you know, we grab the you know handful of guys, but it's a heavy high school class. We we feel that's how you're going to build this place up and win. So we went and did that. You know we signed the largest and number one class in school history. Boom. Then you go hire a new strength coach. Our teams develop and we're getting stronger. 
many people don't know. We have seven seniors on our roster right now. We're returning a lot of guys who played a lot of football for us. Everybody. We had a lot of kids in that COVID year who were true freshmen playing in this league. That doesn't happen. No. It doesn't happen. But with circumstances and things like that, you'll know we'll never make excuses. You know, we're just going to keep, you know, grinding and, and, and head straight ahead and all those things. And now, we're, now we feel like, guess what? These are our guys. This is our team. We got a full off season. We're bringing in a great class. And we're going to keep stacking those classes. We're going to keep getting stronger in the weight room. And, and you're going to see it in the fall. That's awesome. And I love being a part of it. You talked a lot about uh, new strength coach, a lot of coaching turnover. Yeah. You get through the winter, you get through lifting, we get to spring ball. I got to Stanball Stadium for the spring game, and I was impressed with what I saw. Physically, number one, as a football team, as a whole, you see a difference in every kid from that past fall football season to the spring. Um, transfers that came in that you talked about, some good ones that Penguins fans will be able to, to lay a name on and, and will come in and help this football team. Take us through for Penguin fans what happens now. Great spring. Mm -hmm. I loved what I saw in the spring game. Some good local running backs I saw. Good play on the line of scrimmage. People yeah. getting better. And Penguin fans need to realize it's hard to play young people in mm -hmm. the Missouri Valley Football Conference. But yeah. when you play good people, you're only going to be pe better when those kids get older. And that's where we're starting to head to. What's the next step for the, you, this program, Coach Phillips, and this football team from, let's say today, May 3rd till – we play that first game. What's the process? We'll get the kids back here in late May, and we'll start the grind. You know, I mean, that's, you know, that's where Coach Rodenberg is going to bring our guys back, and we'll be back as a staff. You know, we're, you know, guys are out on the road right now recruiting. And our kids have finishing up finals this week, and we'll transition home. But then they'll get back to us late May, and it's time to go. You know, what I mean, it's time to get stronger, bigger, faster, everything we need to do to prepare us. You know, come August to start fall camp. So that's the phase we're in right now. That's the phase we're in right now. Well, I love it. And, and I've known you for a long time being a part of this. If there's one thing, Penguin fans, that I know about Cole Peterson and I love about you, nothing but energy and enthusiasm, whether I see you when we get off the bus at the hotel or whether it's 11 o'clock at night, you're the same person. With Cole Peterson, Director of Football Operations, congrats again on that fantastic job. Let's jump in on your end of it a little bit. Cole Peterson. Take Penguin fans through your daily activities a little bit. Now, when the kids are gone, Cole Peterson isn't gone. There's a lot of work I know that goes undercover. Yeah. Take our fans through some of the things that the director of football does. You know, I kind of, I kind of, you know, I sum it up pretty easy for people. I said, take the X's and O's out of it, and that's my job. You know what? So anything besides on the field football, I'm taking care of. So it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, it's fun. I enjoy it. You know, I, Myself and Coach Phillips, we, we try to – I work right with him 24-7, and, and that's day-to-day -day tasks. You know, that's the schedules. That's the food plans. That's how – you know, everything besides football to make our kids' lives better daily, that's what I try to do. You yeah, know, yeah. And, and so that's that's how I best sum it up. You know, I run the program with the head coach. You know oh. what I mean? And we, we run it together. It's a blast. That is so uh, – like – it's good that we did this, and mm -hmm. I want to have you on in the fall, maybe the week before we yeah. tee it up at home again in Penguin Nation. you got to get out and support. It's fun to learn, Cole, the unknowns for, for fans. The, yeah. You know, it's not just football, and it's not yeah. just practice on a football field. No. It's meals. It's travel. It's grades. It's uh, study hall, study table, coaches' mm -hmm. meetings. Um, that's a busy day, isn't it? I don't stop, and I love it. And I love it. Love All right. It. So so you don't stop. So let, like what's Cole Peterson's step away from football? I, I have to know that. I've seen you. We've had dinner. We've had a cocktail or two. We've enjoyed ourselves. What's Cole's go to to step away from things and get some time to yourself? You know, that's one thing, you know, I think right now in my life, I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I mean, I got to I got to figure that part out of my life. You know, I got to figure out something to take me away from the game. Cause right now I, you know, my mom will tell me she's on me every day, you know, relax, relax, relax. And you sure. know, for me, it's hard. You know what I mean? I want to, I, it's just who I am as a person. It's my nature. You know, I want to be 
ball 24 seven. I want to, I want to see up <laughs> the speed in any way possible. So that's, that's one of those things right now. I'm trying to figure out. Okay. My, that's a good thing though. My, my recharge. Yeah. That's recharge. You're young. Yeah. You got a lot of time for that. Do you lean on dad for that type of stuff? Cause he's done yeah. it for so long. Yeah. I do. I do. And you know, he, he, he's good. You know, if I'm sitting in the office and it's late, you know, get out, you know I mean? He'll call me and say, get out. You know what I mean? It'll, that that all that stuff you want to do tonight's going to be there in the morning. You know what I mean? And so that was the big thing. You know, I think early on when I first got hired, you know, I wanted it to be so structured the way I felt it needed to be. You know what I mean? And it got there and those were long night. You know what I mean? It wasn't wasn't easy. And as I've gotten more comfortable and in the flow, you know, I've balanced a little better. But I tell you what, those first two months, there was no social. You know, it was, it was, it yeah, was I, I, it was we lost tough. touch for a little bit there and that's totally understandable. I, I guess what I want to ask you, you have to, you've said adapt a lot. You have to be able to adapt day by day. Correct. I mean, cause no doubt. there's, there's something tomorrow can change probably in a text or a, or a message or, and you have to readjust what you're doing. Well, I always say, I always say with my job, you know, you'll go in with the full agenda. The full agenda isn't what, isn't what makes me busy. You know, the full agenda is my day-to-day -day duties. It's 150 other things you get hit with. That's what that's what makes that's what makes my job. That's what I love. You know, what I mean, when I'm getting hit with 20 other things and I'm balancing out this, like, you know, what I mean that that's me playing. You know, what I mean, like that's when I'm at my best. Like I always say, I always joke with my dad. You know, I always say when that pressure's on, that's when I'm at my best. You know, what I mean, like I love it. You know, what I mean, I I really do. Like when we're bringing the best recruit in on a visit. And they're like, Cole, go do your thing. Like, let's get it. You know what I mean? Like, that's, right. that's what I do best. You know what I mean? So, like, the busier, the better for me. Like, trust me, like, every and anything they can throw at me, I want. You know what I mean? I want to eliminate problems from the head. I want to eliminate problems for the head coach. I want to eliminate problems for our assistant coaches. Throw them at me. Let me handle them. Let me work with our kids. You guys, guess what? You coach football and go win games. Let me handle everything else. Well, that's awesome to hear. And I, I have thoroughly enjoyed doing this interview with you. Wish you nothing but the best. Penguin Nation, you have a very good director of football operations leading the way, Cole. I uh, want to get in touch with you again. Come fall, we'll, we'll yeah. kick it up another notch, talk some Penguin no, no, football no. and no, no. who's doing well and those types of things. But but thanks for joining us. Congrats, obviously, on a job well-deserved. You represent Youngstown so very well. And, and congrats to your brother, Austin, also at, at Case Western Reserve and your dad now at Cincinnati and mom to their move. And uh, we wish them nothing but the best. But from all of us at Youngstown, can't wait to spend some more time with you. And Penguin fans, it'll be here before you know it. So we'll talk again in the fall. Appreciate you. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate you guys having me.